Good morning. Just pulling out of the road here to go haul the excavator. Bring you guys along. I'm going to show you guys a little haul here. It's the four ton Kubota 040. And uh, using my PJ 14K dump trailer. Gosh, that glare is just terrible, right? So, just bring you guys along and show you a couple of the small things I have learned so far. Um, jack stands on the rear. Uh, and then as far as loading downhill, uphill, or slightly downhill and slightly uphill. Uh, I know obviously we want to avoid loading downhill, especially with my light truck, because my biggest concern is weight coming off the back end of the truck. So if that happens, we're going downhill. But there's a big advantage because the trailer is, even being the low pro deck height, uh, trailer level it's it's a steep climb for that excavator so if we're on a if we're, if we're slightly downhill it really it really helps lessen that angle up into the trailer or out so anyways I've been using the jack stands to, to stabilize the trailer and as well as chalking all the tires and that's keeping things steady um, one thing that, to note though is that PJ sells drop leg jack stands that come, I have square, like two inch square tubing in the back with holes for hitch pins and everything. So they sell these drop leg jacks. The problem is, well first of all, I wonder why I didn't get those. I asked for like every option on the trailer and those weren't those were not included for some reason so I had some made I had I have some sleeves that go oh shoot I was supposed to turn back there Whoopsie -daisy. I'm just talking away so I made my own anyway but I have since learned turning around on the highway here I have since learned that once the tray, when you're loading, I still need those supports. And so, once I load with all that weight of the excavator on the trailer, and you're on your jack stands, it's so much weight that you can't get whatever pins. Even with the jack stands, I can't release the lever. And with the, even if I did the, the drop leg jacks, I, I'm, I'm guessing, I haven't tried, but with all that weight of the excavator on there, you're not gonna be able to get the hitch pins out. And so with regular jack stands, which you'll see in the video here coming up, once the jack, once the trailer's loaded on the jack stands, I get around it by literally driving off the jack stands and then going and picking them up. So I'm kind of wondering what PJ does and what do they recommend when you use those drop leg jacks for loading and your, your trailer is loaded how do you pull those pins so anyway I'll show you we'll get to the video here going deep into Hawaiian acres lots of police out this morning so all right I'll catch you guys back uh, back there when we're loading all right I want to give you guys a view of the road in and uh, that we got a uh, we're hauling on here Got you on the long GoPro stick.
got it. We just came up that hit, came from down that hill. We're at this four way intersection, and I got to cross this real narrow bridge. You can see it's, it's gonna be it's super narrow for the trailer, but I basically just hang one of the wheels off the side. Look how narrow it is right here. Okay, I gotta pay attention here. I'll show you guys the back. Look at that. Woo! Hanging off the edge. It's no big deal when it's empty, but when we have the machine on there, it's a little scarier feeling. This is gonna be, I think, perfect on this uh, slope. Yeah, uh -oh. I'll do that with the transport. Yeah, you always want to look for that advantage. What's that, a little GoPro or something? Huh? Yeah, little GoPro. <laughs>
But how how would that work in this situation? Well, you leave it about three or four inches above the ground when you go to load. So when it comes, it sits on the things, but when you get loaded, it comes up. Okay. And then you, you're or, And maybe a wood block as well you can knock yeah, out. Or wood block, and then you just take and Because pull I it thought up. it wouldn't be able to pull the hitch pin once it's weighted. Right. I see what you mean. Leave a good gap. Well, like when you go to load, uh, well, go ahead and pull forward. I want to see the difference in how high you've got them set to what it is right now. Are you, are you, yeah, I usually it's like a half inch. So it's, I it's, need more than that, like a couple inches. And then you might not even have to drive off of them. Because once it gets forward on the axles, it's going to, you know, mellow out. Yeah. It's going to come up a little bit. It should. Yeah, you see it's about... Right now it's about three inches difference. So there's that's why it's so hard to get off. Yeah, see? So when you go to load, do it a little bit. unload, you, you probably can put it right about well this is here, but that's kind of the distance I did go for back there. Oh you did? Yeah, okay, but I think enough. I need to just leave it all the way down. Good. It's just to stop it from, you know, it's not going to hurt nothing. But then I'll be able to come off the jack without having to, or just pull the, not have to drive off. Exactly. Yeah. You want to keep these in here? I'll have to chain you down to the top one. Yeah. Where are you thinking we're going? My house. Okay. I got to pick up more nursery work. So, but uh, are you ready to do anything at your place? Scratch all the dirt off that. I've area? been talking to guys. I had a builder come yesterday. I needed to finalize my plans, but I do want to do that scrap, scrape it all. Do that on the way tomorrow. If you wanted, I've just come in there and just scratch all the dirt and put it in a pile. And then I can have it clean to haul. Cause I'm gonna have to haul it like a trailer load by tra as I can. Oh, you're not gonna just order a big truck load? Well, my only option is Jeff. I mean, uh, Sanford's is over a month out. Oh, it's Jim. It's Jim. Jim Reitville's a month out too. Sanford's a month out. Oh, Jim's available. And 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 uh, Jim Reitville is the one who told me to do uh, Blue Rock from Puna. Are you gonna do that? I believe so, yeah. Okay. I just, I'm thinking about my strategy about the layering of the rock. Uh -huh. I want it to be real nice. And I'm wondering whether we put three quarter on top or bigger rock on top. Like one inch blue rock. Yeah, okay. Because Bank of Hawaii has it nice like Hello. that. Hello. Hello. Hi, Beth. I'm going to go down Is this your home here? Oh, my home? My nursery here. Your nursery? Nursery. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow. My yeah. home's gonna be over there. Yeah, yeah. my home. <laughs> the yeah, new house exactly. site. Nice. Yeah. Beautiful big dog. I know, right? They're so fast. This guy is big. Wow. Yeah, wow. we're gonna dig a pond too. We're gonna do a yeah. line. A liner and what you want, you see this one, they have tilapia on them. Yeah, the tilapia fix all the problems with the, with the, uh, yeah. like, yeah. well, the toads as well. Yeah. They'll eat the tadpoles. Wow. These guys go in there. Oh, man. Now that's a swimming pool. These guys just went swimming in there. Yeah. Well, they go in there all day long. Really? Yeah, they go in there and then come out to the side. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. This is cool. Yeah. You were, you're going to show me what you're doing here? Yep. When you get there. 
Wow, how? You can turn to the left and you can see it all. All this. These beds? Yeah, these beds, two of them. Wow. That is a nice job. Yeah, it's awesome. Got he he got rocks from Puna Rock. And this MacNut soil, some of the la this is not available anymore. You know what? You, I don't know if you guys can get this from OK Farms. Ah, oh, you keep telling this me that. This costs money. But we can go. I, yes, you can get it. The clients will pay. Yeah. Wow, bud, this is super nice. So you scooped all this and placed the rocks with yeah. the X. Yep. And built the road around the edge. This was just like that yep. when I started. And I came in here, we got two sizes of stone because that's all we could get really. But these are the larger ones that come right out. It's called quarry rock. It's, uh, you know, big stuff. This is more what they call one man. Okay, so one man, but those this are one two. One man, but these are giant. Yeah. So we put all these in there. I ordered a hundred of those, but we got about 70, I think. Man, and you put all this so, good soil. Anyway, what I did when I first took because I didn't know what to do. See the other guy, Joe Early, he did that over there. That okay. Was his trip. Okay. So then I really wasn't happening with what we we're gonna do, but uh they thought maybe bring in the cinder first and then put the rocks around it and put the mac nut on top. So this is about 18 inches deep. So what I did is I start. I, I kind of had to get an idea of what I was doing. So put the rocks first, just half. Mm -hmm. And then I took okay. and brought in the cinder. There's like a foot of cinder all over here. This black red? Cinder. Okay, black cinder. Yeah, black cinder is underneath here. This stuff right here. Oh, yeah. This stuff right here. Nice. This is this yep. right, this right there, that pile. Okay. Whole, they had a whole wow. pile there. I mean, it was, uh, you know, Sanford full dump. And then I put that all in there. Then I put the mac nut in here. And then I tried different strategies. Like the mac nut was a big pile over here. So I'd scoop a half a mac nut, go over, drop it on the cinder, then pick the cinder up and it kind of mixed it. Okay. As okay. I did it. With your bucket. Yeah. Yeah. So then I put that all in here. That's a 24 inch bucket you're working with? No, that was, this was with the deer. Oh, so I did. I did a combo with the deer and the and the. Exit. Okay, the deer though, the nice big bucket. The deer was great. That came and was able to fill this all up. Then I came back with the X, and from the edges I could reach everything, and I made yep. it all smooth. Nice. So this was add-on stuff. That they yeah, they dumped in. in. This is nice. And so these big trees were here, but then did they plant the young trees? Some of the big ones were here, yeah. yeah. The little one, that one, that one over they planted. They're gonna plant this one. Is there another one up there? Yeah, that other one they planted in there. That one that's six feet tall, we yeah. put that in. And we piled all the rock in that driveway right there. Mm -hmm. And so what's left of it, I added and I sprinkled it all along the edge there. They didn't know what to do with it. I said, oh, let's just just use it along the the what you call it, because it's all rock here yeah know, everything's rock i love it yeah low maintenance this is the leftover rock here mm -hmm. and i did the same one here and then it was muddy in here so you see the this blue rock this is not we can have big corn and so this is kind of like a little river a little river here okay. but i dug a ditch uh -huh. under here and filled it with big rocks this is oh. about a foot there's a drain, like a French drain. In yeah, there. French drain kind of it thing. All the way comes down here, and uh, there's a low spot. Wow, that's yeah. the cool. So you dug into the rock itself? Well, not really. It's no. rock and dirt. So I dug that ditch all the way down here. So when the water comes, it just goes in there and comes out over there. So then we filled this. I filled this all with this blue rock. And this is one load here? Uh, yeah, this is one load, 15 yards. This is one inch minus? Inch and a half minus. See these fronds right there? Yeah. Those suckers live 20 years and then die. That giant palm here? Yes. Wow. He says they're very hard to get from some from that. Hey, Bob, this is Trent Brown. Hey, Brown. How's it going, buddy? Blake. 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 Oh, Hi, Blake. Yeah. Great to work down here, huh? It makes it, you know. Beautiful. Eye candy, real yeah. quick. Yeah. Real quick. You go, wow, we did. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, no. This is pretty nice, huh? This is beautiful. Yeah. You know, all right. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, 
looks nice great. Work. Yeah, they look good, you know. And, and the tarp, all the tarp. Yeah. Yeah, this wow. Looks great. Yeah. This is Sunset Magazine shit. Uh huh. Jeff. Yep. Anybody you know, nope. but it's just I ain't, ain't gonna learn. Yeah. So fuck. I, I was know just, you from some place. Did you used to have a big farm? No. 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 Maybe I don't do. Mama Lonnie's. Mama Lonnie's. Oh, right. Jeff told me that. Jeff told me that. Mama Lonnie. I think that was before my time on the big island. Probably. I've, I've, I've been here Lonnie. for about 27 years. Wow. Oh, yeah. This and that was, was before your time. This was 82 well, to 93. Well, I've been in Ireland for 92, 82 to 92. Years, wow. On the big island for 27. Yeah. You know, so. Big island 97, you say? No, no, I've been here 27 on the Big Island oh, and in the island for about 32. Oh, well, same with me. Well, I've been here 45 years. 45? Yeah, it, it happens fast. Yeah. Yeah. It happens real fast. Real fast, baby. See, that's the only area that's a little bit. Yeah, I want to go off on Yeah. So, so are you throwing that stuff for the commercial market, like for the sell store? Yeah, and I make a lot here, of that. Here's one bottle for you. No way, really. For your, uh, Can I pay you? No, no. Fuck you. Hold the really? shit and stuff, didn't you, right? Awesome. Yeah, Young so bottle. For one, the, for one of the ones that isn't doing very good. Thank you. It's dead. I'm going to rip it out and replace it with this. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Jeff. Wow. Yeah, it's just older. You know, they yeah. want to try. They're not watering. The dabs. They don't want to buy it. They're sun-hardened. They just want to be up to date. Cool. Right, you know? Score. Just hold it by the thing Okay. Right on. Yep. Hug the fucker. You have fire ants? No. I don't right have, I mean, because you ship so in much. The forest, yeah. But I treat once a month. Like this. I like how you did your blocks with the pipe. We have well, the. See, the we used to be all wood, but fuck. Wood it rots away. Wood rots. And so. See, so. Replaced with pipe. You're using these what these little blocks well, as. It, that has to just get it to the California certification height. Ah. It's got to be 20 some odd inches, and the block isn't quite, so that just brings it to the right. Plus, the pipe sits in them, they have little grooves. Right. They're we bought the blocks with the divot in the block. Yeah, yeah. And sure. then I have the pipe on the block. Just sometimes you can't get the. You know, I buy them at Home Depot and you just can't get it. Right. Very nice. This so is once we've changed pick. over, you know, then fuck, it's for life. Yep. You know, you you're know, committed. It's still fun seeing the fucking bench all. We still have a couple to move, but I mean, change over. Most of it we've done. If would you still be interested in some seed right now? Yeah, My I trees are full. Seed, but it's it's real hard to explain. It's yeah. just not a seed that's gonna you know go ripe. It, it, they fucking take about a year to ripen. Okay. Um, from size, so they've got to be this yellowy color. Okay. The trick is, is if you can reach out the seed, you go with your fingernail, you scrape the flesh back. And if the actual nut is brown, okay. then they're good. If the nut is white, then it's no good. I see. And so you don't want to go cut it, and it's hard to cut a whole flower at once. Sometimes okay. you got to put a net bag over it and let the ones fall. Okay, you know, I understand. Or a potato sack or something, if they don't fall through that. All right. And uh, you can come back and talk about I'm sorry. Don't in this palm forest is going to be so beautiful. Oh shit, she got some stuff. Wait, you got coconut? Yeah. Oh, I'm thir Oh my gosh. I'm going to I'm going to drink one right now. Yeah, I'm gonna look, yeah. I gotta have a machete in here. There she goes. The beast. Oh yeah. How about that one? Which one do you think is a good one? Oh, these, these. These yeah. top ones right here. Yeah, let's get that one. We can share. I'd rather, 
Look, I hope I've got the. I could have brought another extension. I saw it earlier. Oh, that'll it. work well. Okay, okay, so Beth, yeah. which one do you want? Yeah. This? Yeah. No, 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 that one there. The that big one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey Jeff, would you ever want me to come climb these columns and clean them up nice? With my stand, spikeless? I was just harvesting some seeds some of these days, man. I'm just fucking 68 going up on a ladder with a triple extension or I have a telescopic one. That's what I mean. I'd love to help you out. Yeah, yeah. I got your card, dude. This, these, are, these nuts, these are, these are some seriously nice nuts. Well, this is a, these are the Samoan dwarf. This is the only other coconut we have here. They're not allowed. In Fiji, they got these things that are like this tall. I mean, the fruit's down here. Brown, you want to bring a little, uh, bring a little coconut water to your uh, daughter? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Everyone should come Sue. to the drink. Yeah. Gra we got a bunch him. of nuts. Come here and grab a nut for Brown, yeah, Sue. Yeah, a lot in here. Okay, so Beth, you want me to carry those over to the truck? No, no, no. Okay. I can, I can, I can carry it. No, you can carry that whole, that thing's heavy. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can carry it. Oh, it's been like over a month yeah, since this, I... It's great. I mean, this, this variety, I mean, she, she grows up with it. I mean, my wife <laughs> did too in Thailand, but... Bless <laughs> oh to God. Thank you. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mmm. Fucking... You know, you can clean your contact lens with this shit. It's fucking... Mmm. Hey, 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 Ben! Get over here! Don't think about it. Ben? Ben? Call? Come on. Sue, call your dog. Ben, if you goof it, I'm gonna goof you. Huh? I got two already. Oh, it's a drink. You want to you drink it now? Brown? Well, What's that? You want to have one? Yeah. I'll have one there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to drink it? I'd love to have one for the can you, kid. Can you prep, can you yeah. prep him one and then maybe... Uh, 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 he's going to grab one of these. Uh, how many do you guys want? You want all we, got, we got enough already. Yeah, yeah we're going to yeah. take that. We can take some. Watch your fingers, Blake. I don't know trips to the hospital. Okay, smart ass. Slow down. The same my first Coco Rodeo. This is cocoa. I just want a half cup. And who's drinking that? Uh, what's his name? That's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else drinking? I'm good. I drank one. Can I take one of this Blake? Yeah. Can you take the rest? Where the hell is your chain? I don't think it's going to have more meat in it. Yeah. Medium sized one's got more meat. Yeah, let's go. Ready. Anyone else taking some of these? No, that, you're, those are yours. Awesome. Breakfast. Yeah. Yes, sir. Have one of those. Yeah. Um, I don't want it. I just want to give it to my friend Brown. He's got kids and just enjoy it. Thank you for the coconut. Yeah, it's so nice. Oh wow! Uh -oh. I didn't see that. Well, oh, it's sitting right on here. Uh -oh. But we should just straighten it and then use the. You, I t we tilted it last time with that thing. Oh oh yeah yeah. You want to do that? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. What's that? Coconut milk. Yeah, Haley's been wanting coconuts because we're trying to make coconut lily koi cream pie. Oh wow. <laughs>
It's so good. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. You guys got uh, lily foil already, yeah? Yeah, we have. We made concentrate, so we have a lot of. Uh, oh, bet. Lily foil syrup. Pretty sweet visit. We're hauling out of there. That was Jeff's 35 year old palm nursery. Pretty cool spot there. We got coconuts and I got a free bottle palm. Jeff was real happy that we were able to haul in the machine. So now we're off roading out of here with the machine on. bridge right here. straight road ahead up through the lava even though it's real wet um, it's not a problem traction wise because obviously we're on the rock Do a little walk around. There's that palm and cocos. Fine. Looking good. Ready to rock. Going up the buds and dropping it off there. Pulling up this grade to Bud's house. It's one of the steeper grades. Uh, that I have to pull. Just for reference, this is my uh, 2001 F250 73 Super Duty. It's one of the harder pulls here for pulling this excavator. It's about 10,000 pounds worth of excavator plus my trailer, 15,000 I think of it as my trucks. Max tow, I think, is uh, 12,200, so we're quite a bit over, but she pulls well. She's pulling right up this hill, nice and steady. 2,500 RPM, 40 mile an hour. It's definitely the hardest grade to pull uh, with a heavy load that I've, that I've felt yet. And, Slow and steady, she gets her done, so 
I try not to let the cars build up behind me too much. I'll, give, I'll show you how many are back there on this turn. Uh, I try to stick to the five car limit, you know. If, if I'm going too slow and there's five cars behind me, I'll pull halfway into the, into the shoulder with my uh, with my hazards on and I'll let them pass but I I don't ever stop uh, full I, I don't really slow down all the way uh, because I can't on the grade else I'll be pulling the rest in four-wheel drive so if I do have to let them pass I let them pass while I'm rolling but here's gonna be be our turn so they're gonna get their chance to pass here in a second I want to put you guys on the excavator here. That's a pretty sweet view. This is why I couldn't back up. That is some serious mud. I need to come over here on the rock. I'm gonna go over there and back in over here. Go, go, go. 
What I'm gonna do is try to come back. If I come back a little bit, just might. No, I'm gonna leave it right there. I'm sorry. Yeah, just pull forward, huh? I've tried hard both forward and backward. In low range. Come look how deep I am. The frame's oh, all the I way. I know there's a mud hole there. No, I <laughs> I pretty well. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. No, now I know to stay sure. over here. I mean, this I. This is all dirt up here in Glenwood. But I always thought this whole driveway was rock. Oh yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, I think. Oh, you can unload it. I unload this. I was thinking if you put the boom over here. Yeah. No, and un it's, not, it's not too much of a slant. I thought maybe it was more. No, we can unload this. Let's just unload. Okay, I just wanted to. I thought, yeah, but I it being your thing, no, man. Okay. I don't want. Okay. I'm sorry. Shit happens. I'll take you guys out to breakfast or oh, something. Fuck it. You know this happened to me a hundred times. I know, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I give you your hundred dollars back? No, never fucking mind. Come on, this is, this is part of the business. You're learning. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> well, it's just that like I get. Yeah. That's all I was gonna say. You dumb shit. Yeah. <laughs> you were going too fast. I was going coming in nice shit. and slow. Well, you should have been over here. Yeah, now I knew. I just assumed. Hey, I... Whoa. Come over here and help him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Pull that trail. All right, so ramp it up. Yeah, ramp it up. But don't go ahead and look that way up, didn't I? You did. <laughs> that was the last thing you said. <laughs> the tires is really fully. <laughs> Very. Is there a neutral on this thing? No. Oh yeah. I think I broke my thumb or something. It hurts. Huh. Got it. Nice. Anybody come? Nope. One person pulled out and they saw me and went that way. <laughs> oh shoot. Tilt it, maybe. No, no. Okay, <laughs> see what you can do. 
so close. Yeah, this happened last time. I started pulling out rocks, but <clears throat> no, it's not gonna. <clears throat> the angle is dangle. Yeah, it's too long. Yeah. Is there any bars underneath there? Look underneath and see if you can set it on something under there. Oh, here, here. I know. Set it right here. Oh yeah. There you go. Perfect solution. I just don't want to tweak the truck. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, maybe I'll chalk the... Well, I guess it's not going anywhere. <laughs> no, no. Looking good. It's looking good. All good to me. That side's going down at all? No. Yeah, right there. But you're 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 right real close to the ground. Now you're touching the ground. Yeah. Look at that was three inches above. That was the trailer was three inches above that thing. That's how much it came up. Right. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. And I'll back out that way and go. Yeah. Well, baby, you know why? why don't you just try it back up? Okay. I think you can come back and leave. If nothing else, we'll put the chain on you and I'll pull you. Should be good there. Thanks for your help, but I could have done that. I was just. No, you could. I, I'm. I'm glad I called you. No, man. You lucky you got me to call. Because I'm, I'm so lucky. I never had anybody. To oh fuck! I know. I was sitting in the middle of the road thinking, oh. what the hell would I do? But was that about as uneven as you would have got done that? If, I mean, you. We stopped. Even when we started to go on, you saw I went sideways. Yeah. So it was pretty much. But like you said, I would have turned and put the bucket over there, you know, and, and stabilize the weight off of that side. You would have had more weight on this side. Right. And it probably would have lifted that trailer right out. Yep. And you probably could have done that, or the other one, run it with the boom on this side. The counter. What way out? Yeah. You could have probably backed up. Even on the slope. Yeah, I bet that's the. 
Thank you so much, bud. Yep. All right, I appreciate it. Man, bud, save the day again. Pulling out of there. Jacks. Just had to make sure I got the jack stand. Yep. getting at this game man this game is nothing but a hunt a bunch of hard lessons <laughs> and I, I'm sure everything you know you can learn it the hard way or you can learn it the, the easy way but oftentimes you know so far I've uh, been learning the hard way getting stuck getting in a jam Having to learn how to do it the right way after doing it the wrong way and potentially risking, you know, safety or, or the machine. So, you know, you gotta be humble to do this. You gotta, you really gotta be open to advice. You gotta know when to ask for advice. You need to seek out mentors you literally you need a bud if, if you if you i mean maybe if your dad or your grandpa was in the business and you you learn from a young age you know maybe that's that work out without much of a mentor but i was not raised in the game and um this is totally foreign so i'm picking up all this stuff as i go and, and a lot of it is trial and error and and I study this stuff, you know, I study it. I literally study like I'm in school. I watch every operator video. I, I study the machines. I read the forms about when, you know, suggestions for trouble loading machines and how to, how to configure your trailer. I mean, I really dig deep into this stuff to try to understand it. And you still make mistakes and you still learn the hard way, so. Be humble, get a mentor, know when to call the mentor, and, and be ready to learn through trial and error because, you know, and, and, and be prepared to make those mistakes. I have blocks with me and my farm jack and, you know, different uh, tools that I think, I mean, I, we saw from Bud there that I could, sorry about it being so bouncy. We saw that I could have just unloaded that, that machine on the on the slope there, but it looked really uneven to me. We saw from Bud unloading that it did slide. <coughs> and I'm glad I called it. That would have been scary alone where I can't see that the outside perspective of the machine getting unloaded, so. Another one for the books. Learned how to not get stuck in the mud. Call when you need help. But the part on the mud, I know that's a lesson I've already learned. I, I have a rule. Goal. It's an acronym. G-O-A-L. Get out and look. When I was backing in, when I back into a corner like that and I cut the corner, I always try to hug my inside tight. <coughs> That's how it makes it easiest for me to back in. But following that rule, trying to back in 
with the inside tight is what put me in the mud right there. So, you know, as soon as I felt that resistance, and that resistance that I felt is normally a rock. It's normally a rock sticking up above the ground that I need to crawl the trailer up over. I didn't visually confirm that. I just felt it and thought, oh, okay, I gotta push up over this rock and then I'm gonna bend the trailer to the left and, and we're gonna, it's gonna sit right where I want. Not when it's a rainy day. Too much off to the right of the driveway drops me up what I just learned, a foot of mud. That 10,000 pound machine, that 15,000, you know, gross trailer weight total. If it's not on rock, it's going into the mud, to the frame. And I've known that. I've tried to pull mulch loads through little bits of mud. You can't do it. It's like pulling a, a sled through, through a, like pulling a plow through mud. It, it doesn't work. It is not going to work. You need a gigantic power plant, a, a massive mudding tractor. learn thanks for coming along and uh yeah until next time we'll catch you on the next video Aloha. back home just quick toes off